And what we like about this one, friends, is there are so many different ways you can go about building it. Here's some examples to get your ideas flowing, followed by a walkthrough of how we like to build one of our favorite cars. This piece of foam serves as the base of your car, and the first step is to take some popsicle sticks and glue them to that foam base, pointing outwards. Do it on all four sides and try to keep them nice and even. Then we want to drop little puddles of hot glue on the tips of those popsicle sticks where we're going to glue straws, which is what the wheels will spin around in. The really important part about these straws is we want to make sure they're pointing in the same direction so the wheels are spinning in the same direction. Flip it back over and this is what we should have so far. Next up is the mousetrap, and what's important here is the placement of it. What we want to do is line up the side of the mousetrap with the middle of the foam board, and the metal part that gets lifted up goes along the top edge of it. We want to do a quick trim job to the straws. For the straw that's opposite the mousetrap, we want to cut in between the popsicle sticks, and we can give all four of them a trim on the outside of the sticks. Time to talk about wheels. We're going to attach the wheels to the ends of this stick called a dowel and stick the dowel through those straws which it will spin around in. We have some different options for wheels. You could trace some custom circles on the chipboard or cardboard and use those, but we're going to be using CDs for this example. Line the inner ring of those CDs with some hot glue and place one of these foam cubes over the top of it. Make sure that empty circle in the middle of the CD is completely covered. And take your time on this part, friends, but now we want to stick that dowel through that foam cube. We say take your time because it's really important you try to do so as straight as possible. Then you can pull it back out, fill that hole you just made with hot glue, and stick it back in there. While that glue is drying is your chance to make sure that it's coming out straight and in the middle of the CD. You can always add a little bit more reinforcements to make sure there's no slipping going on. But now it's time to feed it through. With one wheel attached to the dowel, slip it through the straw and repeat the same process for the other wheel. You can decide how far apart you want the wheels from the side of the car. And if the dowel is sticking out extra far, feel free to trim that. And now we can attach the lever, which can be a little bit tricky. So if you have a friend or a teacher who's willing to lend a hand, you might want to take them up on that. This will be the first of a few times that we need to use zip ties. And what we want to do here is zip tie another one of those dowels to the metal part on the mousetrap. Spread out two or three of them. Tie them as tight as you can. Chop the top off and then put a little bit of hot glue so we know they're not going anywhere. And friends, we're going to use a piece of string to connect that lever arm to that zip tie that we just made. You can either tie it and glue it or zip tie and glue it to the top of that dowel. Before we let you go, some things you can customize on your car to make it your own are the length of the rod, the size and amount of wheels, and how you want to power it. And speaking of how you want it powered, if you'd rather tackle the balloon powered or the rubber band powered, stay tuned for a quick walkthrough of how we build those. We know that's a lot of information for one video, so if you get lost at any point, refer to your how-to sheet and that should catch you back up to speed. If you want to try to tackle the rubber band car, it really is a similar process. You're just going to need to find something that a chain of rubber bands can hook onto on the front and then use a zip tie on the back wheels where you can attach the back of the rubber band chain and wind up the wheels. And if you want to try out the balloon car, you need a similar structure, but attach a balloon to the end of a straw where you can blow up that straw and point it in the opposite direction that you want your car to travel.